In today's video, we're going to look at programming for movement. When I look at programming for movement, I look at five basic skills. That would be your straight arm strength, your bent arm strength, your mobility, your equilibrity, and your leg strength. Starting off with your equilibrium. Equilibrium is basically hand balancing techniques. So that's skills such as your handstand, your one hand handstand, air babies, QDR, and other such variations. The next one is mobility. Mobility is a precursor to ability. You have to physically be able to enter a position before you can work the skills involving that position. There are many different ways to improve mobility, such as static stretching and yoga, but I myself have found that weighted stretching and banded resistance stretching is the, some of the most effective. Next would be straight arm strength. Straight arm strength is essentially skills or movements involving no bend at the elbow. It can be seen in positions such as your back, your front lever, your planche, your mana, your L-sit, and various support positions. Typically after training these type of movements or positions, I do isolated movement of the scapula. So that can be seen in scapula shrugs or even doing Ido Portel's uh, banded scapula series that he puts on YouTube. Next would be your bent arm strength. That is essentially movements involving the bending of the elbow. So that would be your muscle up, your rope climb, your handstand push up, or any such variation of those type of movements. Essentially, after I finish training these type of movements, I do some form of isolated external rotation of the shoulder. This then leads us to our leg strength. Leg strength, I typically do barbell movements, such as your clean, your snatch, squats, split squats, and other type movements like that. As well as I usually involve some form of plyometric training and some tumbling, such as doing back tucks or something to warm up. When I split my training up throughout the week, I typically do six days a week, two straight arm strength, two bent arm strength, and two leg strength. Equilibrium training I typically do at the beginning of each session, or at least on upper body days. And then mobility you can do before each session, uh, on your breaks in each session, or after each session. Typically I do 20-30 minutes before, and then if time allows I dedicate more time afterwards. Mobility is something that you can train and you should train every day. Uh, you don't really need any breaks, you can do some form of stretching or another. Everyone's got at least 15 minutes to dedicate to that. Something I would like to stress is that you should take a pretty focused approach in your programming. Though there might be a lot of things that you hope to achieve, pick only a few of them, work towards those ones before putting them into maintenance and working on the other ones as well as you should make sure that you have all the pieces of the puzzle before you start working on the next one. So make sure you can hit each of the individual components of a, uh, of a movement before you uh, increase movement complexity. Typically when you look at a movement, you're going to want to basically look at it, find where your weak links are in the movement before you can achieve it, work on the regression of it, and then find those weak links and dedicate some time to isolating them, improving them, and then you can incorporate them back and do the entire movement. An example of this would be to do a tuck planche while you're building up the strength in order to kick your legs behind you on the full planche, and then doing reverse leg extensions in order to build up the strength in the back of your legs. I hope some of this information provided to be useful for you. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them down below. I'll try to address them in at least the comment thread, if not uh, another video. And I hope that some of you guys got something from this. Uh, hit subscribe, there will be more content like this and uh, like my other videos as well. And then hit like if uh, this gave you any sort of information that you haven't heard elsewhere. And I want to thank you for watching and uh, supporting the channel. Thank you very much.